This is another Turbine Guy Network special investigative report. Folks, Turbine Guy coming back at you at the Orno Public Taj Mahal Works up here where they're having a grand opening tomorrow. And I thought I'd clue you into a few things that have been going on in the Public Works Department and at Orno that you may not know about. Now, of course, I'm putting this video together in what's called the right of way. As you can see, that's where I'm standing. But according to Adam Edwards, Orno City Administrator, this is trespassing. And I'm surprised that a city administrator, actually former or civil engineer, doesn't understand that the right of way is public property. Now, why do I bring up Adam Edwards? Because we're going to circle back to him in just a few minutes. Now, there's been a lot of controversy going on up in the public works. There are nine people between public works and parks for employees. At least that's what I'm told. Now, out of these nine people, four of them have left, including Josh Lemons, who just resigned the other day. And from what I understand, on Monday morning, Josh Lemons and Adam Edwards were both quite upset at City Hall. So I don't know what's going on. But hey, Josh, you want to come to the turbine guy and let the community know what's going on up there? We're there for you. Now, all these people leaving plays right into the hostile work environment created by DJ Goman, the public works director. And we've got videos about that. We've talked about it before. And it's pretty obvious that there's issues, including the fact that DJ Goman is afraid of one of his employees. And yes, that employee is a guy who has, you know, I spews racial epithets and other stuff that is just not appropriate in today's society. Now, this employee has been called a bully, a racist, and other things to me by others who have worked there to the point where it seems that the women who work in public works have had about enough and get ready to leave, the, leave themselves. Now, from what I understand, this bully has been acting out recently, I guess, to try to get himself fired. I can't say that. This is what I have been told. So why is this supposed racist bully so upset lately? Well, because of the chaos created by DJ Goman. And from what I understand is Goman feeds on chaos. That's, I guess that's where he likes to live. Or I guess you could say drama. Goman's a drama queen, maybe. I don't know. But all this chaos going on with all the controversies driven the bully nuts. And he's doing what he can to get himself the best ticket out of Orno he can. So instead of simply firing the idiots causing us problems in this community, Orno, your mayor and the council have voted to bring in an HR firm at our expense to spend a lot of money to see what's going on. And here's a comedy of this situation. The HR firm's first questions are, one of them anyways, is DJ Goman really afraid of the bully? As if you had any questions if the Dur turbine guy was telling the truth before, the fact that that's what they're talking about now in these HR meetings is sadly comical. But that brings us around to the real part of this story. The real part of this story? is Adam Edwards, remember I said i get back to him, has covered up for the hostile workplace leader, his lackey, DJ Goman, and lackey is a perfect word because, you know, I know both of these guys. I'm telling you, this pinky here has a lot on him. Probably so does yours. Anyways, yes, Adam Edwards covering for his friend and confidant, the hostile workplace fomenting, I'm afraid of my employees, DJ Goman. By the way, Adam Edwards said, just ignore what Nygaard's doing, the turbine guy's doing, because it's all going to blow over. Actually covered for the illegal activities of Goman and the Public Works Department. So, whoa, 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 you say, what, illegal? Well, you see, there's a difference between public and private. Private companies can do whatever they want to. Public companies cannot. You cannot show favoritism. You cannot accept things for yourself that might make things look like favoritism. Well, I guess unless you work for Orno. Because Goman and his son accepted from a vendor tickets to a wild hockey game, sweatshirts and other things. 
and went to this game. Not only that, there's other Public Works employees who accepted free trips to a hunting farm. Now imagine if you live in Orono and you're against hunting and your tax dollars are, well not tax dollars, but your employees are getting free hunting trips. You're gonna be a little upset. Well, I'm upset because this is just wrong. This happened. They had a quote-unquote investigation with Orno's vaunted attorney, Soren Maddock, the guy who has a hard problem understanding what a state statute is, or that the residents of Orno are his bosses. The lawyer who has no problem denigrating residents in a public forum, such as National Fox News, Soren Maddox and Adam Edwards cleared our Public Works employees led by DJ Goman for accepting illegal free gifts. Anywhere else, these people would be fired. In Orno, how do we cover for you? So we have the ever so incompetent Adam Edwards, who's maybe a so-so civil engineer running our city, covering for his lackey, DJ Goman, who's afraid of his employees and creates a hostile workplace, covering for them accepting free gifts. And you know what we're gonna do to fix this situation? We're gonna spend a lot of money to bring in an HR firm and probably end up saying nothing's wrong here. Even though four out of nine employees between the parks and public works have left in the past few months. You make up your mind for yourself. And I know you all do, because a turbine guy only brings you what he knows to be true or what he understands from others to be fact. Well, at least what they consider to be fact. Turbine guy, signing off.